In this problem, we're asked to sketch the region of integration R in R2, and then evaluate our iterated integral, uh, where our integral is from pi halves to pi, and from 0 to 2v of u cosine v divided by v squared du dv. So we want to sketch our region of integration, and we have our variables u and v, which isn't our normal x and y. So we're going to go ahead and just let one of, um, so we'll go ahead and sketch our plane, um, our uv plane. And now we can choose which axis we want to be representing which variable. So we'll let v be our normal x-axis and u be our normal y-axis. And now we see that our u is going to be ranging from 0 to 2v. So So u is from 0 to 2v. And then we see that our integration with respect to v corresponds to the limits of integration from pi halves to pi. So so v ranges from pi halves to pi. And now we want to so we know that if u is equal to 0, then we're just on this, on the v-axis of our plane. So we want u to be greater than that. So we know that we're going to be in the first two quadrants. And then we want u to be less than 2 times v. So we can just kind of sketch. the line u equals 2v. So it's just a line with slope 2. And so we could just, so we know that we want our u value to be less than this line. So we're looking at values in this area. So less than 2v, but more than 0. And then we're looking at v values that are between pi halves and pi. So we can just kind of estimate these aren't very um, specific coordinates, but we have pi halves and pi just labeled on our axis. So we want v to be more than pi halves, so everything to the right of pi halves, the, line, the vertical line at v equals pi halves. And then we want everything to the left of v equals pi. So everything to the left of this vertical line. So we have this kind of region where the two, where our two um, areas intersect is kind of like a triangle stacked on top of a rectangle. So you can see that given here, and that's our region R. OK, so we've sketched our region of integration. Now we want to calculate our iterated integral. So first, we'll break this up into two integrals. So we want to first calculate the integral from 0 to 2v of our function with respect to u. So we can just kind of separate those two like so. So we'll calculate so we have our integral from 0 to 2v of u cosine v over v squared. And we're integrating with respect to u. So we can go ahead and pull out any 
terms that have v in it since v is being held constant. So this actually simplifies to cosine v over v squared times the integral from 0 to 2v of u du. So the integral of u with respect to u is u squared over 2. So we get u squared cosine v over 2v squared. So we can go and evaluate it from 0 to 2v. So now we go ahead and plug in 2v for u, and we get four v squared cosine v over two v squared. So we see we have v squared over v squared and four over two. So then, and also we have to evaluate when u is equal to zero, but that just makes our whole term zero. So we can just look at our first term. So it simplifies to just the first term. So we, like I said earlier, we can simplify this to just two times cosine of v. So that's our result for our first integral. So we can go ahead and plug that in for our first integral and calculate our second. So we get So we get 2 times the integral from pi halves to pi of cosine v dv. And we know the integral of cosine is sine. So we get 2 sine of v. And we're evaluating this from pi halves to pi. So we can evaluate this integral. So sine of pi is 0. So our first term is 0. Minus, sine, minus 2 sine of pi halves. Sine of pi halves is 1. So we get minus 2. So 0 minus 2, just negative 2. So we went ahead and sketched our region of integration, and we found this kind of triangle on top of a box. And then we calculated our iterated integral over that region and found that our iterated integral is equal to negative 2.